What's up guys, welcome back. Welcome to this week's vlog. I'm gonna be getting in my car, driving across the state to one of our clinical campuses where I'll be spending the whole week rotating with some physicians in the hospital. I gotta get packed up, gotta make sure I bring my white coat, make sure I bring my stethoscope, and can't forget about my Anki controller. I hope my preceptors are okay with me wearing Air Force Ones because seriously, I don't have any nice shoes. Sorry. <laughs> All right, I think I am ready to go. Here's the fit, ah, the travel fit. <laughs> it is a beautiful day in Washington. Ah, uh, normal. Thank you. of the campus and they're gonna introduce other stuff to us. I'm not totally sure. Here is the school. Satellite campus. Got done with five hours worth of Zoom meetings. Now I'm gonna go home, eat dinner with my host family, and then go play trivia with some med students. Tomorrow, I got my first day in the clinic. I'm kinda nervous, but I worked in a clinic during my whole gap year, so should be okay. I'm definitely nervous, dude. Should I pull this out to the doctor? It says secrets. <laughs> Damn, I feel like tomorrow's like a nibs kind of day. A what? nibs? Who are you? Yeah. Heavy, heavy stuff. I must be based at Flag Radio to the personal. Uh, my original point for Alright, all done. Just woke up from like a two hour nap. Anytime you go to bed when it's light and wake up when it's dark, that's never a good feeling to have. <laughs> well, today was a very interesting day. Got there at 8 a.m. I was nervous, but just went for it. Met the doctor. She's a MD, PhD, I believe. So she's just like a legend. It was really cool, but it was also very heavy. Right before I went to lunch, I was in the room when my preceptor informed a patient with her family that she had stage four breast cancer. So that was something that was really, really hard just to witness, let alone inform a patient or have happen to you or your loved one. I couldn't help but think, wow, I'm really in this room right now, in this moment that's gonna change this patient and their family's lives forever. So that was a really big kind of awakening that I had. Now on the other side of that, I was also in the room today when my preceptor informed patients that they were in remission or that they were completing their treatment of chemotherapy, which is a huge victory in itself. So there's really two Two ends of the spectrum with hematology oncology and cancer is such a diverse broad disease and in order to be a hemonc doctor there's literally so much that you need to know obviously that's the case with any specialty but especially with hemonc the field is always changing and the guidelines are always changing and it's so important that these physicians keep up to date with what the newest advancements are what the newest developments are it was overall a great day my preceptor was super nice involved me whenever she could Ladies. <laughs> 
Okay. Turn around. Can you can see more apples. Those are also pink ladies. These trees that you're looking at are cherries. So they've been picked. That's why there's no fruit on oh. them. Grab the apple. You just twist and pull. So you okay. Get the little stem roll. <laughs> yeah, they usually do that. I'm like, two questions. like, all right, well, my uh, Good. A couple students here are the and then we walk out, and then people are like, what's next? And they'd be like, oh, can you explain this? And like, yeah, and then he'd be like, you won't. How do you pick a good apple? Uh, you find the really red one, and then you twist it, and you throw it at your neck. <laughs> That's a good apple. <laughs> guys just got back home it's 9 30 p.m today was another good day I rotated all day with the pulmonologist where we saw many patients with a variety of lung disease from copd to asthma to interstitial lung disease pneumonia lung cancer everything in the books it was a good day my preceptor was super nice very willing to answer questions that I had. And we talked about uh, chronic granulomatous disease, which is a topic that we've been learning about at school. So that was really cool to be able to talk to this guy about something that I was actually learning in school. And I got to work on my pulmonary exams, which we're gonna be tested on at school soon. So it was a good day. Now I have to work on a presentation that I need to present tomorrow on a patient that I saw over the past couple days. I think I'm gonna choose to do it on one of the breast cancer patients that we saw with a certain type of breast cancer called triple negative breast cancer very rare and aggressive it's characterized by having no estrogen progesterone or growth factor receptor so it can be interesting to talk about in front of my cohort but it is almost 10 p.m so i gotta crank this out do some of my anki cards that i have to do today and then go to bed wake up at 7 a.m go to school present it and then drive back home lots to do tonight super tired but it's gonna be good to be done with this week so <music> What's up guys? Real quick, I just wanted to give a massive shout out to everyone who's been subscribing and liking, watching my videos. You guys rock. Last video, we hit a thousand subscribers and in this video, we're already at 2,300 subscribers. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. But that's it for this one, guys. Thank you so much and have a great week. Yeah.